Hi, look at this hair. That's something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello. Hello, hello. Happy winter ween. Day one. It's almost seven o'clock, so we're getting a bit of a late start to it, but reading did not happen at work like I thought it would. So we're not starting off in the uh, best situation, are we? Are we? Look at my bags. Look at that. That's like a stop getting up at 5 a.m. every day. You need your sleep because you're in your 30s bag situation. We need to chat about my TBR. We need to chat about what did or did not get accomplished today and my plan for the remaining six days of winter ween. But first, I need to go get the books. So be right back. How do we feel about this angle? I can't decide. I don't know. I normally have this table. It's like a long picnic table and I normally have it coming out this way with the benches on either side, but I turned it when I hosted Christmas Eve brunch and I have not turned it back. So it is still this way now, which means I can sit this way, I'd like to first not talk about the fact that Christmas is still in my house. We're not going to speak of it during the entirety of this vlog. We will not be talking about it because I can tell you right now, I will not have time to take it down until after Winterween is over. Let's just ignore it. Let's just ignore it. Christmas in January. You know, I didn't really get a lot of Christmas, so I am now enjoying my decor in January and I'm putting on Christmas movies in January. And you can mind your business. I like this is crooked. I just ordered some dinner and I need to tell you about my TBR. This is not ideal that I started this late, but you know, you know, we have to do what we have to do, okay? So there are five prompts. If you haven't seen my TBR for January, I did already talk about this there. If you haven't seen that, let's quickly go over it. The first prompt is to read a book of the dark. I initially said I was going to read something on my Kindle and probably one of the horror that I already had there, like for the sake of, but it has since come to my attention that there is another book that I need to read immediately. And that book is Butcher and Blackburn. I finally got it yesterday. And ironically, I waited all that time so that I could have my copy because I wanted to read it. And then last night, <sighs> I downloaded the ebook because why not? So I've decided that this is gonna be my book of the dark. Book of the dark? Book in the dark. Good Lord. I will say that when it hit midnight last night, I did attempt to begin reading this. So far, so good. And I'm using my Winterween bookmark for this one, which I did write my TBR on, but it is a little bit faded. Can you see that? Probably not. Let's try harder. Should we try harder? Come on, get in there, see? There it is, Winterween, beautiful. And that's what's going on for prompt one. And that's already been started and it will be what I do every night in bed in the dark. Prompt two was to read a book with a witch on the cover. I am reading Night of the Witch. I did pick out a bookmark, which is why it looks like I've started her, but I have not. Does anyone else pick out all their bookmarks before they start a readathon or is that just me? Number three is to read a book with a winter setting, which I chose The Overnight Guest. I did actually start this on my way home. I downloaded the audiobook, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I read the first two chapters three times on my commute home. Why three times? Because I could not bring myself to pay enough attention at all. I don't know why, but I was, oh, I have been missing this bookmark for so long. Who knew it was in here? Anyway, so I read chapter one and two, and then I had no idea what was happening. So I went back to chapter one and I read chapter one and two, and I still had no idea what was happening. So I went back to chapter one and I realized that I don't pay very good attention. And this might not be a good audiobook option for me because there were a lot of characters in just the first two chapters, a lot of names, and I didn't know who was what. We'll see, we'll see. We're gonna play it by ear, but I do have this on audiobook if I need an audiobook. And then we have Purple on the cover. I am going to read Killer Instinct. This is the next book, book two in the Natural series, and it has purple on the cover. And it's about kids that are very talented in certain aspects that are helpful to the FBI. Telling when people are lying, profiling, things of that nature. Finally, for the prompt W in the title, I'm gonna be reading Do Your Worst by Rosie Dannon. I did also get the audiobook of this on Spotify. And that 
that's it. That's the plan as of right now. Things could change. Things usually do change, but that's the plan right now. I do have to work pretty much every day during this readathon, except for Sunday. And the last day of the readathon, I'm actually going to be flying to Atlanta. So I don't know if I'm gonna like end the readathon a day early or am I gonna continue the readathon through the weekend in Atlanta? I don't know yet. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. What I do know is that I don't have a video for this week yet and I also don't have a video for next weekend. So that also needs to happen and I don't know if this is gonna become a two-parter so that I can post half of it before I go away or you might not see this until like, I don't know, the end of January and then it'll be not topical and nobody will care and I'm rambling. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, wait for my dinner to come and then we are going to try and make a dent in something tonight. I don't know what it'll be, but something. And I may or may not see you again tonight. If I don't, we'll chat tomorrow. I get home earlier from work tomorrow, so tomorrow's gonna be a better day, I think. I think. That's all I got for you. Happy winter ween. Let's read. Good morning. What is up? What's going on? Listen, <laughs> my fridge is running and my ice maker is running. Sorry. Anyway, it is day three of winter ween. We're moving. We're moving quite slowly, but we're moving. Today is my only day off during this readathon that I don't have anywhere to be, any responsibilities. I have put a lot of hopes and dreams into today. <laughs> Probably a mistake because it's already getting late and I have not started reading yet. But I had to spend the morning doing some editing. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna post a video again. You may never see this video. You may never see another video from me ever again because I, I don't know what's gotten into me, but I just, I feel like I don't know how to edit anymore. I don't know how to film anymore. I don't have any motivation. Like, I don't know what is going on with me. It's driving me insane because like Winterween is like one of my favorite things. All the ween readathons are my favorite things and I'm like just not in the mood to film at all. And then like when I go and sit down to edit my other vlog, I'm like this is boring. Who would want to watch this? Like I feel like I'm just like, I don't know. I'm in like a bit of a editing block. Not a writer's block. Like an editing block. Is that a thing? Does anyone else face that? Like an editing block? Anyway, so it is January 7th. It's Sunday. I have no work. I want to spend the majority of the day today reading, but I did have to do some editing because Otherwise, I will never post a video again. I'm not kidding. Today, I think my main focus is gonna be finishing Killer Instinct. I read a really nice chunk of this yesterday at work because it was slow. Don't tell anyone. This just reads so quickly and I feel like I, yeah, I have about 150 pages left of this. So I feel like I'm going to do this before I do anything else. And then my plan is either to do some of the audiobook of this and maybe work on like a puzzle or something because I 
think with this, the audiobook is good, but it's complicated. It's more complicated than your typical thriller. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the writing style, but I'm having a hard time keeping things straight in here. So typically, if I focus on something like a puzzle that is like totally mindless, I can actually zero in on listening to an audiobook. So I'm thinking that might be my move for tonight. Otherwise, if I feel like reading physically, I can read this. I can also try The Night of the Witch or Do Your Worst, which I also have on audiobook, so that might happen too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go sit and try and do some reading. I'm gonna make another coffee. I'm gonna go read and hopefully we can get a good chunk done today because today is kind of like the last last stitch effort to really make a good dent into some things. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, hello there. Hi. It's much later, obviously. I've been quite shit, quite literally shit at filming today. In my defense, I have been mostly sitting at this computer editing today, like mostly. I went through a bit of internal crisis where I fully, fully was like, you know what? I'm just not going to post a video this week and no one's going to notice and no one's going to care and it's going to be fine. And I fully committed to that for about two seconds. And then, as one does when one is a perfectionist who is afraid of failure, I ended up coming in here and trying my damnedest to cobble together some semblance of a video to post tomorrow. That's what I did for the majority of the day. However, I did take little breaks, and when I took little breaks, I read Killer Instinct, and I finished it. I finished it. This book, I don't know why I'm hitting myself in the head. My thoughts for Killer Instinct are, it was good. It was fun. We definitely got a better understanding of all the characters. We got a little bit of, like, teeny tiny bits of backstory in the first book and little introductions into their psyches and what makes them who they are. But we definitely dived a lot deeper in this one, which was super fun. As far as the mystery, the case that they were trying to solve in this one goes, I didn't love it nearly as much as the first one. I didn't love the reveals. I didn't love the premise in general was just kind of meh. So I didn't like it as much as the first one, but I still enjoyed it. I can't remember what I gave the last one. I want to say four. 4.5. I think I'm gonna give this like a 3.5. I still had a good time. I'm definitely, definitely invested in these characters and I definitely want to finish this out and see, see this through, see their stories through, see where it all goes because there is like an overarching story that will be carried on in the next two books. So I'm definitely gonna do that. But this one just did not quite hold my attention the way that The Naturals did. So 3.5, it was still really good. I still had a good time. So that's the first book done on day three. It's not great, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna keep editing. I'm going to see if I can listen to a little bit of the overnight guest while I do some of like the graphic-y stuff that I don't have to have my ears on for, but I probably won't update you again until tomorrow. So I will see you on Monday for day four. Okay, bye. Winterween day five? It's Tuesday. I think that's five. Editing me will have some kind of graphic of some kind somewhere, right? I owe you an update because I did not 
talk to you one single time yesterday. Not once. And I really have absolutely no excuse other than the fact that Sunday I ended up staying up way too late finishing a video for Monday. And so yesterday when I got home, I read a little bit and I got in bed around 8.30 and I just couldn't bring myself to turn the camera on. And I'm really, really sorry about that. The good news is that I did manage between yesterday and today, I managed to finish Do Your Worst, which is the second book I finished, which is not great, but I mean, it's okay. We're making progress. So I finished this. I did a combination of the audiobook and physically reading it. And I really enjoyed this. I have not read any Rosie Dannon before. I know that she has a couple of books that I've seen everywhere and I don't know why I never picked them up, but I never did. So this is my first one. And honestly, I had a good time. I liked the main character. I liked the guy, the love interest, Clark. I was slightly disappointed when I found out that even though it takes place in Scotland, he is not Scottish. He is British, which is fine. The audiobook did a great job. There were two narrators, which was lovely. So we had a nice British guy doing the voice of Clark. And then we had some girl doing Riley. Did I even say what this is about? Our character Riley is a curse breaker. I thought this was going to be more like supernatural, like ghosty, but it turned out it was more about like curses and ancient curse breaking things, rituals, things like that. She has been trying to create a business out of it. She gets hired by these developers who have bought this castle that has supposedly been cursed for hundreds of years. And they hire her to come in and try and remove the curse, even though they're not even sure if it's true. They just feel like better safe than sorry. And in the very beginning of the book, she gets to Scotland. She goes to a pub and she meets a guy named Clark and he is charming and sweet and he's an archaeologist and he's so so into her and she's so into him and they hit it off right away. They end up kissing. It's adorable. And then the next morning she goes to the castle to start her first day on the job and he is there trying to get her fired because he thinks she's a phony. So he didn't know they were going to be working together. He didn't know where her profession was and he doesn't want her there. So it goes from them being incredibly into each other to total enemies and then just sort of like the bickering and the fighting and the arguing and the trying to prove each other wrong and there was this little like passive aggressive fight that they had where they kept changing the music in the castle. They both I guess had access to the Bluetooth or whatever so she put on the song You're So Vain and then <laughs> he put on American Woman Stay Away From Me and they keep going back and forth. It was really cute. The curse stuff was interesting. It wasn't like game changer but it was interesting. So I think I'm gonna give it four stars. I had a good time. It was four stars. Yeah, I feel good about that. So as of now, I have finished two books and I am in the middle of two books and I have not started the fifth and final book, which is Night of the Witch. So that is what I'm going to work on tonight. I'm going to sit down and start reading this, see how far I can get into it. When it comes to the overnight guest, I am doing the audiobook for the most part and sort of reading it a little bit physically, but I'm making very slow progress because I keep having to go back and reread. So I'm currently on page 189 and struggling. I may have to take this with me on my flight to Atlanta because that's the final day and I don't see a world in which I finish this before leaving. But we'll see, maybe. And then Butcher and Blackbird, I have been slowly making my way through, but I can only read it when it's dark. So I've been reading it in bed at night, which we all know leads to me falling asleep immediately. I'm 100 pages in, exactly. So I've got about 200 pages left of this and I should be able to do it. It's just every time I get in bed and I turn the lights off, I end up falling asleep. Hopefully I'll be able to make some progress in here tonight too but we shall see. We shall see. So I'm in the middle of those two and then I'm gonna sit down right now and start uh, this one which I really should prioritize because it's the one that has witch in the title and this whole premise of this wicked winter ween, this this season of ween is about witches. So so anyway I'm gonna go sit down and read and I may or may not check in with you later but we'll see. Okay bye.
Now to the crowd Ooh. Ooh. So fast yet so Take a 